I'm happy that you're happy, but the place where you're supposed to have the toilet paper, you got this little shelf with three seashells. He doesn't know how to use the three seashells. <laughs> Bit embarrassing. Now love the fact that Sly Stallone just called me using his toilet. Or the fact that I don't know how to use the three seashells either. The fact that I forgot to mention them at all in my review of Demolition Man last week. And then the thing that most people remember about that goddamn film. So here is a video answering the question. How the hell do you wipe your ass with three seashells? I have found four theories as to how they work. Some are mundane, some are even sensible. One is frankly terrifying, and I even have the origins of where they came from, so that's obviously the most logical place to start. So let's do that. According to the screenwriter Daniel Waters at a Q&A session in 2014, although he refused to say how they worked, he claims the origins of them came from a friend saying, there's a scene where Stallone has to use a restroom. I'm trying to come up with futuristic things you'd find in there. I was having trouble, so I called my buddy, another screenwriter across town, and asked him if he had any ideas. Ironically enough, that guy was taking a dump when he answered the phone, looked around his bathroom and said I have a bag of seashells on my toilet as a decoration. I said, okay, I'll make something out of that. So he comes from a friend who is the kind of psychopath who answers the phone whilst taking a dump. I was looking at the shells he keeps in his bathroom as decoration. Although that's interesting and all, it doesn't get us any closer to answering the question of how they are used in place of toilet paper, which is how they appear in the film. So I turned my attention to the cast to see if they had any better ideas. Turns out Sandra Bullock and Sly Stallone had some theories. First up, Sandra Bullock, who told Josh Horowitz on the red carpet for Gravity that well, think of the bidet, right? Said Bullock. There's several processes. You have number one, you have number two, and then the cleanup. Which is a perfectly reasonable explanation, but it's all a big bay, isn't it? There's no actual explanation of how exactly any of these processes would work with three seashells. I needed more, so I moved on to Sly Stallone. And good lord, I wish I hadn't, because frankly, his theory is terrifying. In 2006, Sly explained in an interview that a screenwriter told him they worked like this. You hold two seashells like chopsticks, pull gently and scrape what's left with the third. Here is a very useful infographic as to how that might work. I don't know about you, but my asshole is puckering at the thought of scraping and plucking dingleberries off of it. Not to mention how the hell a seashell's meant to get flushed away. In a lot of countries, the sewage system can't even cope with toilet paper, so seashells are a definite no-go. Not even to mention, are there even enough seashells for 8 billion people to use 3 every time they go number 2? This theory is so insane and has so many obvious problems with it, I instantly refuse to believe it is true and moved on to looking for more theories which is when I stumbled upon the best one I've come across on Reddit. You, Silver Lil, posted this theory on the fan theory Reddit nine years ago, and I think it's the only one that makes any sense in terms of the squishiness of our bumholes, the mechanics of pooping, and the logistical nightmare of disposing of millions of used seashells. His theory is as follows. The three seashells are actually buttons. The first washes away feces with a jet of water, the second dries your posterior with a blast of air, and the third gives you a dusting of talcum powder or similar for a pleasant smell. We never actually see anyone pick up the seashells, so we don't know that they couldn't just be seashell shaped buttons. So basically the three seashells are a uniform decorative design for three buttons, which somewhat fits into the origins of the three seashells along with Sandra Bullock's explanation and makes way more sense than Sly's frankly absurd one. I think of the three theories so far, this is the only one that makes any real sense, except when we see them in the movie, they don't look very much like buttons. There's no cutout for them to be pressed. I of course have my own very boring explanation for the three seashells. I highly suspect there is no actual answer to how the three seashells work, they are a throwaway joke to highlight how out of place and time John Spartan is, and when screenwriters come up with weird tech in film, they don't have to worry about how it actually works in practice, just that it makes sense within the universe they are creating on screen. 
which is exactly what happened here. But of course, I think of all the theories I've seen, only the one from Reddit makes any real world sense, even if the prop shells don't exactly back the theory up. And that's that, thanks for watching. If you've got your own theories, let me know down below in the comments. If you liked it, like it. If you didn't dislike it. And if you feel like it, subscribe.